In this brief video, we want to talk about something really important, thoracic kyphosis and a decreased life expectancy. What is that? The thoracic spine is the mid-back area, and a kyphosis, technically kyphosis just means the backward curve in the mid-back. That's a normal curve. Hyperkyphosis is when there is too much curve in the mid-back. This is the one area of the spine that has been researched more than any other part of the spine in reference to predicting health outcomes and even life expectancy. So what that means is that the mid-back curve, when it's excessive, they found that it actually decreases the length that someone is able to live a healthy life. It's pretty important to understand. It's not just about bad posture at this point, it's about overall health outcomes. Now, how does that work? Well, let's just review something that I know you guys are already pros at, but that when a bone misaligns in the spine, that causes pressure on the nerve, and that whole situation is called what? A subluxation, that's right. So when a bone misaligns, it causes a subluxation. But when a single bone misaligns, it weakens regions of the spine, causes your posture to shift and distort. We call that a postural distortion. The majority of a increased thoracic or mid-back curve, what I found clinically and we've seen over the years, is that it starts as a result of a segment subluxating, misaligning, and then now it's not comfortable to stand upright. So someone compensates and they assume this type of posture. Well, then the pain starts to go away and before they know it, they're stuck in this position and they don't even realize how abnormal that really is. And then gravity continues to kick in and causes the spine to deform and fail, increasing the curve in the mid back and then even causing some of these vertebra that should be fairly level like this to start to wedge and compress and those are called compression fractures or wedge deformities where it actually bends forward in the front. So now I have a real life patient here and this is not an elderly individual. This is, this is a young man that is younger than the age of 30. And he came in with some pretty obvious postural issues. The green line is normal, the red line is him. And if I stand in the same orientation that he's standing in, essentially this is normal to him and this is comfortable. And when he stands like this, it's painful and it hurts. And really, he's been like this for so long, his spine is rigid and it's difficult for him to get upright. So now, fortunately, this was taken several weeks ago. His spine's already starting to change. But I wanted to use this as an example that this is not just the elderly population. This is, this is something we see even in kids as young as 10 years old. So this is an epidemic that's happening more and more because of the type of lifestyle that we live, especially with things like smartphones, this whole thing called Tex neck, which the head's over like this. It's not just the neck, it's the upper back is collapsing. So I wanted to reference a research article that's been very popular and very well known in the spine research community. And this was done, I know it might be tough to see on the camera, but this is done on a PubMed search. So if you go to pubmed.com, you can find the peer reviewed research out there. And I typed in Kyphosis Cato, who is the author, and this is done in Rancho Bernardo, California. And what they found is that there was, there was over 1,300 people that they looked at in community dwelling areas, which is a nice way of saying like a retirement home. And they actually looked at the curves in their mid-back, and then they followed them over several years to see what their health outcomes were and even their life expectancy. And how they did it is they took these individuals and they put them against a wall. So imagine this is a wall. They stuck them against a wall like this, and then they measured with a tape measure how far their head extended away from the wall. Okay, well you might think, well that's a head shifting study. Well not necessarily because the rib cage, the mid back is what forces the head to come forward. The head of the neck is usually the innocent bystander that's just along for the ride. The mid back is what is really shifting the head forward. They use that measurement to then start plotting data to follow these individuals over several years. And here's what they found. The conclusion of the study, older men and women with hyperkyphotic posture, too much curve in the mid back, have higher mortality rates. You die quicker. It decreases your life expectancy. Further, the study said this, is that if you cannot get up without assistance, like if you're in a seated position, someone has to actually help you up, statistically, you're dead within four years. So this goes into a couple of things. It, it, it goes into a postural study, 
of something that we all want to avoid as we progress in age, and it's completely avoidable, completely predictable. None of us, no one watching this video should ever be able to or have to have to get into this situation. And then a second part of the study, what it touches on to, is movement, is that if you can't get up without assistance, that's a problem. Well, what things do you have to be able to do to get up without assistance? Posture affects function and functional movement. If your posture is like this, how well are you gonna be able to stand up straight and extend backwards? How well are you gonna be able to do like a basic thing like, like, like a deep squat when you're stuck forward? It's not gonna happen, your whole balance is off. Uh, typically that posture goes along with being very rigid in the mid back. So in conclusion, thoracic hyperkyphosis, too much curve in the mid back, will cause a decreased life expectancy. Very important thing to understand, if you have any family, friends, loved ones that start to have this type of posture, take it very seriously. This isn't just, hey, it looks bad, stand up straight. Sometimes they can't stand up straight because they're so rigid or they're in pain to stand up straight. And so they typically will have a segmental subluxation, irritation to a nerve, it needs to be detected and corrected, and likely a rigid, curve in the spine that's not going to correct without really intensive postural corrective exercise, oftentimes even traction and functional corrective movement exercises, and even guidance as far as what to do at home to start to get some of those muscles to elongate and to relax. So I hope that was helpful, and we'll see you on the next video.